Good morning everyone. I know that I look like positive crap today, but it is I don't know if you will with the sunset. Soda. Soda. Well, now she's pooping. <laughs> it is uh Soda. She's a uh, It's Soda last day here at the shelter. Fortunately, poor thing, she was found in the streets of town wandering around two years ago. Her, can you see her? Sit down! And she has anxiety and nobody wanted her. They tried to adopt her, like she went to live at several foster houses, but they always returned her because she's a really loving dog, but she has separation anxiety like to the extreme and she would destroy everything and by everything I, I mean the, the the wood on the doors <laughs> every single flipping thing she even ate the tires of a car in a garage at a foster house that she was and today Sora she she's a good dog like she she's good to be trusted like you can take her without the leash and she will come, of course, now she's exploring because I usually take uh, Foxy with me because it's like the love of my life, right? But today, since this afternoon, this evening, she's getting adopted, I decided that, you know what, instead of going for a regular walk with her and then going with Foxy for a longer for a hike, Today I was taking her for a hike, you know, as a goodbye kind of thing. And Soranem, as you can see, she's not used to go this far. Now we're on the nearby uh, furniture factory, right? Sora, She doesn't want to say hello. Anyway, she's a really good dog. She's certainly going to be missed, you know, at the shelter is like the equalizer even though she has anxiety she always cries she's the one that used to up until today teach the puppies to walk without a leash you know next to her she's the one that would you know show some sense make some sense to everything but you know it's good it's great that she gets to finally you know, finally get a ways to call home I really wish her the best so now she's like what where are you taking me today because she said, since she can walk without a leash I would take her with Foxy numer on numerous occasions then Foxy would pull a lot you know from the leash because she wanted to go just like Sora you know without a leash but then she doesn't want to come back as when you call her she comes Foxy doesn't so she's nowhere to be trusted mm, there's that so today I'm going on a hike with her I know I look like a positive mess like I didn't even bother to look at the mirror I wasn't planning on vlogging but you know so yeah I fixed myself a coffee even though I am a tea person and um, there you go, I had a paracetamol and it is a beautiful, gorgeous, fantastic day actually so there's little Miss Burgers today the, the weirdest thing happened at the shelter she had a fight with this giant dog that other dog, whoa, like they are new they're trouble oh, let's speak later on later but then Foxy came to the rescue because sort of, sort of small compared to the other ones. They are all like German shepherds and above. And yeah, Foxy went to the rescue and then uh, another one, another male came to the... Oh, it became like an argument with the two new dogs. And I'm gonna miss her because it's like the, the, the trio, you know, the triad. Chupa, Foxy and Sora, they've always been there and they're like besties and the ones that have some sense. And she doesn't pull one single bit when walking with a leash, it's kind of crazy. 
You know, this is unheard of for Poxy. It's been several months since we went thus long. <laughs> thus long, I said that. Since we went this long with Sora and me, you know. Yes. Foxy has way more stamina. And Foxy's the love of my life and she has way more stamina to burn. But yeah, today she deserved this. Like it's a good goodbye, you know. I love every single one of them. <laughs> what else can you see? Soda? Ma? Okay, you guys, here's the thing. It's later on in the day. Excuse me, I'm on my kitchen. This is gonna be an unboxing haul. I'm sorry for the lighting or anything. I'm just fresh out of the shower. Uh, well, the thing is, here I am sitting on a in front of a big box from Amazon, right? <laughs> I don't know how the sun's gonna be here or anything. Thing is, I've been watching these cast, cast iron skillets for the longest time, the large ones. Um, and I thought they were really pretty, you know, it really attracted me. Oh, this chair in here. The fact that they can go in the oven and everything. And then I got into read recipes from it and whatnot. Most are sure, it's not easy to find them here in Spain. So I was looking on Amazon, and lo and behold, I found them. And I was thinking, you know, because I love cooking, but I still don't own my place, so why do I need to scale it, right? So I found this pack of three, and I was about to give it to my mom, you know, for Christmas. So I put it in the waiting list. Long story short, I went and I had some toiletries, you know, some stuff, shampoo for my hair and whatnot, waiting, you know, on the waiting list on my Amazon thing. And I clicked by, I didn't realize that I still had them. And today, uh, the delivery man showed up. You know, I just came from the height saying goodbye to Sora. You probably have seen that. And I found this. And let's open it together because this deserves a haul. Like, I was about to return it, you know. <laughs> I talked to a friend and to my sister about this this skeleton, this set of three large skeletons. <laughs> but then, um, I, don't, I don't know, maybe, you know, it's a calling from heaven, so I'll just grab a knife. <laughs> Because this is for the unbelievable. I am almost a humble, homeless person because I don't own a place, right? But I have a set of skillets, so <laughs> it looks like I have it together, right? <laughs> I don't speak so loud because my sister is having lunch. Upstairs. My goodness gracious. And it came with Amazon Prime. When did I sign for Prime? Never ever. So, lesson learned, I programmed my credit card to Amazon. I shouldn't have, now I wouldn't have to scale it. Now I do. So, first off, let's check this box. It's flipping heavy, of course, it's cast iron. <laughs> paper, paper, paper. Oh, so the rubber handle is gonna come some other day. Because there was a rubber handle as well. It's not in here. It was coming from a different vendor in Amazon. My goodness gracious. I have a big old box. And a really heavy box. I'm gonna leave the knife again. I didn't see that coming. I, I have so many emotions, you guys, right now. I don't know whether to cry because they were not cheap. To laugh, you know, it's like, what do you do on a Sunday night? You go ahead and buy skillets, cast iron ones, you know? The thing is, it's that they supposed they supposed to last you a lifetime, so maybe it was, you know, like an investment. <laughs> but oh god, good god. I could have stopped the to deliver, but it was like whatever, let's just check this. So I opened the box. They are really well wrapped. Again, bottle wrapped. 
ready to use, care to use, and yeah, it's like, that's a small one, I don't know, does it have, this is a 6.5 skillet, I never touched ever a skillet, you know, with my hands, so that's a deal, it's grainy, like, I don't know why I thought this would be, mm, like a flat surface, but it's grainy all over. So that's a small one. What's the see? This is crazy, guys. Oh my goodness. What did I do? What did I do? Then I have the eight inches skillet. <laughs> so I can prepare something else. <laughs> Here I can fry an egg. Here I can prepare a Spanish omelette for two. <coughs> for who knows? It's a good size though. It is a good size. It has this two openings in here to create the sauce. The handle, of course, I need to receive that. Um, I will not call it for you because I don't have it here. But you know that silicone handle you insert in here just so you don't burn yourself. But this is great because you can put it in the oven and the other pans are and still it's a good enough big pan. And the last one not least, the big one. This one is um, 10 inches of skillet. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is more family size, like I can see this for four people. Uh, Great! Now I have a set of one, two, and I pull them together to get truly heavy. Three skillets! <laughs> What's up with that, you guys? What's up with that? But whatever, like it says, it's pre seasoned because of, obviously, obviously, I didn't know that, you know, because I never had a skillet before, I just had regular pans. But they have to be seasoned, but again, people on the internet, they always recommend to season them again. And what I understand that seasoning means is, um, like they have the instruction in here, though. Uh, put them with oil, put them in the oven, always when you cook, then clean with warm water and salt, never use detergent. Clean them thoroughly, then uh, put a little bit of oil, and then you know, like rub them from back, front, and everywhere in between, and then put them on the stove so they dry properly, and then just save them. And apparently, they last you for a lifetime. So uh, yeah, now it turns out I have three skillets, like it or not. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Flash haul. Let's hope that Sora finds a good home. And yeah, now I will go and find recipes for the skillet so I can cook, I can cook whatever, write a toy or a lasagna for one and put it in the oven and make it round and beautiful. So, so. <sighs> there's my different video in here. I wasn't even expecting that myself, but. Life happened this way, so I probably will kiss them. And the kiss. See you next one. Bye.